Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So today in this video, we're gonna be going over the three, 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 three modifications that you need to have on your lowrider S. So this right here is my 2020 Lowrider S, and as you can see, it has quite a few things done to it. There's still a lot more that I want to do to it as well. Now with that being said, there's three modifications out here that I absolutely love, and these three things are probably the most important, the most essentials for you riders out there who are going to want to get on your bike and have a good sound, good performance, and just want to feel comfortable on your bike. We'll start with number one. The Mephishes Road Warrior. This thing is absolutely amazing. Totally changes up the bike from the looks perspective as well. Um, but most of all, the most beneficial thing you're gonna get from this Road Warrior is that blockage from that wind hitting you on the highway, right? So you're hitting anywhere from 75 to 80, 90, 100 miles an hour, and you're in the highway, and you're doing these long miles these crushing miles that which the wind is just going to fatigue you after a few hours of riding and it's it's not always fun it's not always as planned yeah we're gonna get in the road we're gonna do two three hundred four hundred miles and we're gonna be riding all day by the time you get home or by the time you get to your destination you are tired as hell so this definitely prevents that it definitely helps out with all that wind coming hitting on the chest and you're on your bike and you're fighting the wind and it's pushing you back and it's Yes, it's part of the riding, and yes, it's it's just in the DNA. But trust me, and believe me when I tell you, this thing stops all that, man. You're able to just get on that bike. You're not fighting the wind. You're just, you know, you're, you're enjoying the ride more, you know? And yes, you will be getting some wind buffeting, you know, over around your helmet or so, right around here, your elbows, yes. But most of the impact, most of the, the wind is gonna fatigue you is going to be the wind that's going to be pushing you hitting you right here <coughs> right there another cool feature about this fairing as well is that it's, it's very customizable so you have the 11 windshield i get this asked a lot of times well, how tall is your windshield the windshield on this one is 11 inch it's a dark smoke but if you want a taller one maybe something clear maybe a light smoke you could do that as well super easy to take off Within a few seconds, you have the whole fairing off. So if you don't want to ride with the fairing, take it off, leave it at home, and you, you get the wind that you so much want in your life. So here's something that I like to call potato, potato, potato. All right, that's what we like to hear, right? So this is my TBR 2 in a one exhaust. So a stage one, probably the most second most, if not first, we could battle that most important modification you can have on your bike. I would kind of move this up to first place. Yes, because this is going to give you that Harley Davidson sound you want, because we know we don't get that from stock sounds because of admission standards. Yeah. So this kind of should have been first, but yeah, your stage one, your exhaust. So if you want a full stage one, what's a stage one? It's an exhaust, it's an air cleaner, and it's a tuner, that's a full stage one. But if you just wanna go with exhaust, then that's what you should get. And if you are gonna change out your exhaust, you should definitely change out your tuner. It's gonna give you a better riding, it's gonna, it's gonna tune your bike to run properly. You're not gonna get that crazy B-cell pops that we kinda love but yeah it's gonna make your bike ride a lot richer right so your exhaust here obviously there's tons and tons of exhausts out there on the market um i obviously chose to go with this black dial tbr here which i did a review on this exhaust last week well not it was a few days ago um after having on this bike for two years and going over all the good and bad things about it so if you want to see that video i'm gonna be linking it up at the end so you can watch that as well but yeah an exhaust is probably Primarily the main thing we first do on our bikes just because we want that Harley Davidson rich sound um, We want to be heard on the road, right? Loud pipes save lives, right? And on top of that they it just changes the whole look of your bike as well So obviously cosmetics is a big big thing. That's why there are so many companies out there who make different type of exhaust 202, 201, stainless, blacked out, chrome. There's just endless options out there 
and the sound in each one is pretty different which is pretty cool when you think about it so your exhaust very 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 important shall we move to number three what 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 will be number three what do you what do you guys think will be number three now lastly but not last one of my favorite things on this bike which goes into comfort goes into looks my lapara kickflip seat now if you guys have been following me on my channel since the beginning of this whole adventure with this bike here you guys know that i had a saddleman step up seat i like that seat a lot but it was too stiff for me right it was too too stiff it felt like a brick and i want something more comfortable i wanted something a little bit more different more breathable just uh so i went with lapara and this kickflip here i am more than happy with it it's plusher there's hardly any break-in period as opposed to the saddleman where you need about 15 to 2,000 miles on that seat to kind of really break it in this seat kind of comes already plush it has that bit of stiffness you need for the back part um it and it's just it's, it's i don't know so their body even with the basket weave on this one it's just very breathable um it looks good quality on here is amazing it just it, 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 it looks good on the bike right you got the uh goldish brondish stitching right here in the back which kind of you know complement the bike very well with the graphics on the tank and the wheels and um the marble kit the little brandon right here as well um but yeah this seat is really really comfortable i spent countless hours on this seat in a day tons of miles that i've crushed on here and i can tell you i can honestly tell you when i get home you know my, my, my butt isn't hurting um i don't have any pains on my back and it's just um real comfortable man so huge shout out to the para for making a great product um yeah it just it just it just looks good on the bike man it just flows very nice it, it looks great now i think we should finish off the video with some honorable mentions on here as well so as you can see here we have my leather pro bags we got the bunking crash bar which in an event of the bike tipping over and it just looks super good um we got the flow foot pegs which allow my feet not to be all over the place we got the golfer uh rotors in the front um san jose customs risers as well there's this Arlen-S drips and there's SNS air cleaner and tons of other stuff on here. But those are some honorable mentions that I didn't go through. But my main top three on this bike, the Memphis Shades Road Warrior, my TBR exhaust, and my LaPara kickflip seat are my favorite mods on this bike. And the mods that I highly, highly recommend anyone to go with at first, from the get. Then we pretty much covered everything. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Nice little take on everything. Um, by the way, I'm gonna be at Laconia next week for Bike Week, the oldest motorcycle rally in the world. So New Hampshire, I am riding up there. It's gonna be me and Peanuts. We're gonna be up there for three or four days. So if you are in the area, make sure to stop by, hit me up, say what's up. Um, I'm gonna be out there vlogging and riding up there and doing a bunch of fun stuff. So I'll see you there. And if you want to see more content like this on my 2020 Lowrider S or my 2021 Roguelite special, you're definitely in the right place. Tune in, subscribe, hit that like button, share the videos. The only way this channel is gonna keep growing, guys, is share, comment, and like, and push it forward. Um, that's it, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe, enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. like a caged animal down here just I don't know